An innocent 18-year-old killed after a bullet went through his bedroom wall and hit him in the back. KPRC 2's Candace Byrne shows us how the young man is being honored tonight in Dayton. A candlelight vigil was held here at Dayton High School tonight. Kind, friendly, caring. Those were the characteristics used to describe the young man who lost his life. He had just graduated from this high school. There were tears, lots of tears, but in the sadness, an overwhelming show of love and support for the family of 18 year old Gerardo Oliveras Mancha. He was just uh, a man of peace and, uh, you know, blessed other peacemakers. He, he brought a lot of people together. Family and friends and strangers from the community gathered to show love to a young man they say brought nothing but kindness to the world. I witnessed many times as an upperclassman, you know, uh, he would go to somebody who he didn't even know that he saw that was down or sitting there, you know, didn't have friends. He'd just go sit down next to him and strike up a conversation. Police say the 18 year old was killed in an apparent drive by shooting Wednesday. The bullets came through his bedroom wall and hit him in the back while he was playing video games. Gerardo's mother and two sisters were home when it happened. They're devastated, you know, they are. The person who pulled the trigger is still on the loose and investigators are working to find who opened fire in the home which sits on a private road. So what I pray is that those people are uh, brought to justice by their own conscience, um, that they come to know Christ, that their lives are turned around. All of it makes no sense to those who know and love Gerardo. You lose that person to um, just talk to anyone, lighten everyone's day. These candles lit to remember the light and kindness teachers, friends, and family say Gerardo brought to their lives. I mean, he was just the sweetest kid. The Liberty County Sheriff's Department says that a light colored pickup truck was seen leaving the scene after the shots were fired. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Sheriff's Department. Reporting in Liberty County, Candace Burns, KPRC 2 News. Candace.